on many pediatricians tonight give these kids a nebulizer. Why? Nebulizer is a device which allows a medication to go from a liquid form into an inhaled or a mist form, thereby allowing the child to breathe the medication in. In certain conditions which result in wheezing, these inhaled medications actually help relieve the spasm in the lungs to improve the breathing, decrease the wheezing, and help the children breathe more easily. General rule, kids under six months don't do as well with nebulization. The kids over six months, is that true? That is correct. What we've learned is that there are a group of children who wheeze who do not respond nearly so well to the nebulizer medication, and six months is a very common cutoff for that. So under six months, we only give nebulizer medication if we've tested it on the child and we see that they are a responder to that medication. Years ago, doctors used to give kids who wheeze epinephrine or adrenaline shots. Is there any place for that anymore? We generally do not use epinephrine or adrenaline shots at this point. What we've learned is that the inhaled medications work just as well as the, vac as the shot of adrenaline and it's a lot less difficult for the child to receive. We know some kids carry inhalers. What group of kids would be more likely that you would use an inhaler over an ambulance? Is it an older kid, a certain type of kid? What would that be? An inhaler is a device that administers medications into the lungs in the same way that the nebulizer administers medications in a way that allows it to go into the lungs more easily. The choice of using a nebulizer versus an inhaler depends upon the child, their age, and their ability to do the medication administration properly. The metered dose inhalers and dry powder inhalers that we presently have require a certain amount of skill and practice for the child to perfect in order for the medication to reach the lungs in an effective manner. We generally use spacers attached to some of these devices to help this technique, again, to allow the medication to be inhaled properly. What we do is we look at the child's age, we see if he's able to take these inhalers in a proper fashion, and if in fact they can, then we present it as an option. The advantage of the inhaler is twofold. One, it's small, able to be placed in a pocketbook or a pocket or a briefcase, and therefore can go with the child wherever they are, allowing him to have his medication in a very simple fashion. The other is that the inhaler takes far less time than the nebulizer. In a matter of seconds, they could have their medication in their lungs, where with the nebulizer, it may take anywhere from five to ten minutes, depending upon the specific device. If a kid used an inhaler, what group or age group that you would probably consider that over a nebulizer? There are some children as young as seven and eight years old who can use an inhaler properly, and I've seen 12 and 13 year olds who are still not using it right and are still better off using the nebulizer. The nebulizer gives the medicine in an easier and more reliable fashion. It only has the inconvenience of taking longer to administer and being required to have the machine with you if you need it on the road. If you had an, an inhaler and they shake it and they hear some noise and it seems to have some weight, can you be sure there's medicine still inside that inhaler? It's tricky. There are some inhalers where we can judge if a medication is there just by the way it feels. There are others where it does not. You need to take a look at the specific instructions of the device each device has its own technique for telling whether you have any medication left or not. The rule of thumb, if there is any doubt, get a new device. Each device should last for up to a month. If you've been using your device for more than a month, you probably are going to need a new one. The Preventil albuterol inhaler, the most commonly used one, says 200 meter doses, so you probably should keep track of how many times you used it. Is that correct? Ideally, if you can keep count, it would be quite helpful. 200 doses of the medication in the old albuterol is, is something that we understand to be administered. However, keeping count of 200 doses over the course of a month can sometimes be difficult. The other thing to realize is that every time you use a test dose, a primer dose, it counts. And so what we generally say 
is that if you're using the device for more than approximately a month and you're using it regularly during that month, you're at the point where you're ready to get a new device.